Hi, good afternoon. Everybody. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to our weekly book club. We are in week five. Wow. So, week five reading. Good afternoon, all. Good afternoon, I Miss Ashby. Hello. So, we have we are reading from page eighty six to one hundred this week. Um, last week it was just me, Miss Ashby, but we could talk a little bit about last week too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So this week, page eighty six to one hundred, where Dinesh, we are seeing um a friendship developing between him and Medusa, and actually where yeah. he um. He is visiting Cora City for, for fun. So it's not that he's being captured or anything. Um, himself, right. Amadusa, they're getting to know each other, sharing stories about themselves, their families. And um, what did you think about this week's reading? Well, um, for this week, we saw Dinesh here where he's um he's focusing on his stories. He's been telling stories, like I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But now he gets him more involved in it, focusing on he, he trying to make sorry he tell the best, even though it's um it, it may be make believe or whatever to tell the best story that possibly could because remember back in Guyana he can't really read properly his the, he's dyslexic and I think he he feels I don't know he he feels hurt by it or or he is affected by it so he trying to make up for it in dream tide. Okay, but Ms. Ashby, you said something there and you said it the last time we spoke to yeah. in week three. So mm -hmm. um, I want the, the listeners and the readers also of the book club to give us some input on this because you said that you think it's make-believe, his visits to dream tide and Coral City. But I don't see it like that. I see it as um a alternate, a alternate place that he visits. And it is very real yeah. because when yeah. he came back, when he came back the first time, when they let him go and they said he'll come back, he says that yeah. he wants to tell his grandfather, but um, he can't tell him because his grandfather won't be yeah. true, right? Um, yeah. So, and then, then he, he actually is transporting himself. So he goes back every day. So I don't think it's me yeah. or like he's dreaming. I think that he, he is a real place. It's a real place that he can go to because of that pendant that right. he has. Yeah. So what do you think yes. about that? Um, um, so... I think I still believe it's a, it's a dream. You Even though it's a dream? Say it's, it's, I still think it's a dream because no, when it, the only time, the only time he go, the only time he goes in the night, right? Yeah. Um, is in the night. They come and get him in the night. So, and that's the only time he could be in Dream Tide and in Coral City. Is well, when, um, when he's and then, I mean, and then. Mm. And then, then, then the, is the whole the whole parallel time how how time does run parallel. So the only time they would miss him is in the night when when everybody's supposed to be sleeping. And I don't you know get out of his bed. And, and I don't know if anybody said that if anybody would go and check on him while he's asleep to see if he if he is um sleeping or if he in the room or anything. But they never miss him when he goes to dream tired and cross. They don't miss him. But remember in the early years, right? They said that how mm -hmm. um, it will still be like he's there. So even when he visits this other yeah. world, it's still like he's there in his physical world. So it is it's more like a magical fantasy thing, but it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. I, right. I, don't, I don't see it as him going to bed and dreaming about this at all, at all, at all, at all, at all, yeah. ever. So um, that's that's. Well, I mean, that could be true too, huh? Because um, later on in this part of it, he went to I think it was 
Tiger Island. Right. Right. He, and he goes to that to place Tiger with Island. Medusa. And, he goes and, there with Medusa. Right. Right. Yeah. And again, his um his sense, I don't know if you want to call it the sixth sense, it kicked in. He said he was feeling his something in his head and walking through the the the, the um the place going through the church. That's when he saw the whole scene with the goat and there somebody killed the goat. Right? right. Yeah. So I guess and all of this is just to bring into bring into foresight his 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 senses with with um dream side and you know how we see and you know all the all the all the all the things he's using to see. Well, for me, this mm-hmm. this particular these particular pages, 86 to 100, right. it's got a lot of um illusions, right? right. Um, symbolism that I think that we will have to go back to this point at some point in the book. So like underwater mm-hmm. there was an earthquake that was right <laughs> right what was yeah, that uh, uh, yeah i yeah, don't know earthquake underwater i don't yeah. understand why it, that exactly was so hopefully we get more clarity on that soon and then right. there was the killing of the gold the spilling of the blood what was that about we also don't know but i exactly. think it's more like a a transformation from one part he he can split his life into two different places now so he can be yeah. on the water um he can be on earth and the point that he was making earlier about um him going there any night only when he dreaming i think it's because he he does it that's the only time as you said that he can escape and nobody would notice but i don't yeah. think it's a dream i really 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 don't feel it's a dream no but i mean is it it may not be a dream because uh, is because he goes to different places as well, right? I mean, mm-hmm. and in a dream you wouldn't be able to go all those places because he said he he go into the first time he went to another island apart from Tiger Island in the beginning, in the very beginning when um Medusa was running him down, he went to another place, up another island apart from um Guyana. Mm-hmm. So is. And and that's the part that's a little tricky. It, you don't know if it's a dream or if it's real life, because sometimes it feels like a dream, especially when Medusa describe the parallel time. Because mm-hmm. she said the time doesn't run like how time on Earth Diana runs. Mm-hmm. It runs differently. So when he goes home, it will just be like if he was out for the night and he do a whole lot of things during the day. They eat food, they, they, they read stories, you know, like a full day under their end dream side. But when he mm-hmm. come back to Guyana, it was just the night, just for a couple of hours. So that's why I was keep thinking it's a dream. Mm. I saw that. I don't think it's a dream yeah. at all. I don't think so at all. But um, okay, I guess that's what he booked up for to discuss. Um, yes, different <laughs> perspectives on what we read, right? I, I would, I would really like to get you know other other members' perspective on it. Yeah, you know, they can comment on if they think it's a dream or, oh. or or if it's um if it's real life. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So guys, yeah, comment that on that. Comment, leave your comments at the bottom. Um, tell us if you think it's a dream or if you think that he's really just being transported any night to this um, Coral City. Um, so far, I enjoy the book, but I don't know where it's going. I'm not seeing where it's going because for me, it's more like a, how, how should I describe it? For me, I'm more getting like a coming of age story for Danish. Um, so we, right. yeah. I, I, you know, it's more like he maturing, but we don't really have what's going to happen. We, yes, he has the mark of Zenoqua, right? Um, yeah. But what is going to happen? Because now he's going back to Dream Time. He's no longer their prisoner. He's going, he's coming as he pleases. Yeah. So um, right. at least yet we have not reached that um, turning point where you can actually see, okay, we something is going to happen in the book. Right. So yeah. I don't know. I'm waiting. Um, another thing that we should mention of mm-hmm. is you remember last not last week before when we were discussing um I I was saying the male, the only male fair person, we saw the only male fish person. He was very aggressive. 
Yeah. And you were saying it was um because was, um I think that I think that's what you said. Why you felt he came across aggressive, and I was like, no, because he didn't want to be in charge. He didn't want to be under the rule of the females. Yeah. And this week, they mentioned where they were discussing the society, and they mm-hmm. were saying um men and women don't pair in society. So yeah. What happened is they have so much women and less men. The men um they all together and they raise each other and. And they meant, I can't remember who said it, they said not Numa. That's the guy who was upset. He different. He mm-hmm. got ambition for change, how things work. So mm-hmm. he don't, he really and truly don't like the fact that the women are in charge. Mm-hmm. And he have to, he's, he's like, it, so it's, it's a flip coin. And when we're in Guyana, the men in charge and the men go out to work. But the here, the women mm-hmm. in charge and they go out to work and the men have to take care of the children and them and so on. And he don't like that. Yeah. So, yeah. You guys are kind of insight into how the how different society is underwater compared to Guyana. Yeah, it is. Um, but I find that the water, Mr. Bash, Iman Bash, I found that that's his style. That's his style of writing to bring awareness mm-hmm. to certain things. So um, like last week, he brought a lot of awareness to suicide and murder and gender inequality in for teenagers in terms of their education and um same thing he's doing underwater in a kind of sense yeah. think about it that way because he's trying to say um it's a bit of feminism that's how i see it right so like throughout I think, his, I'm, mm-hmm. I think he's using his writing to bring forth the ills. I don't want to say the ills, but what is not right in, 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 in the general society. society. Yeah. yeah. Me too. So I think he tried to bring it to the forefront and he's using a, um, a kind of a parallel view of the two. Mm-hmm. So, you know, whereas, whereas um, I think the Guyanese culture is very uh, is, is racial and, and very racist. And mm-hmm. underwater, they don't care. And you can be have a color blue, mm-hmm. green, you have mm-hmm. Afro hair, Indian, it don't mm-hmm. matter. So, so I think you're trying to bring to light, you know. Mm-hmm. That I think that's of... one thing we know for sure about the book so far. Um, the yeah. author is using his um his young adult fiction writing to bring awareness to so many issues within society, right? Yeah, and that and, is true. Yeah, so he is trying to to make his reader which is usually which would be somebody well that's usually the members of our book club which would be like from 12 to 17 aware of these mm-hmm. things and not in that in your face don't do that kind of way you know yeah. so um so i like that about the book so far but as i said i don't have a yeah. clear direction yet as to where it's going um, we have not reached that critical moment. I thought we reached it when, when he got abducted. But now he abducted yeah. and he can go and come. I don't know. It's kind of iffy for me so far. Yeah. But how yeah. you feel about it so far? Um, I mean, the whole fantasy, Not to be honest, this was not, never my style. Mm. But it's interesting so far. I just want to see, continue seeing the adventures that Danish, you know, he's experiencing. Yeah. It's really interesting to see the difference underwater and um I, I want to see where his friendship and, and if a relationship would develop between him and Medusa because you know he seems to be getting very close to her. Yeah. And she yeah. is the only one who is um and I and I believe they're around the same age too. That's why probably why they're getting close yeah. as well. Yeah. But she she said um I think it's in the same the same setting that she said um after I don't think they go to school and after if they do go to school after secondary school, no, they don't go to secondary school, they go straight to work. And mm-hmm. then he mentioned, well, that is what happened with his best friend. He leaves school and he starts to work one time. Yeah. So, you know, and all of this is, is, is like it's showing you where, so school may not be that much of an important issue. Mm-hmm. So you could, you could survive without that level of education. You could start to work one time and, you know, mm-hmm. at the end of the world. I guess, yeah. It is so, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, so this was an interesting discussion this week. Next week is um page 100 to 124, I believe. And right. listeners, please leave your comments about what you think. Is he in a dream or is he just being transported from one reality to the next? 
Um, any closing comments, Ms. Ashby? Um, no, I just, I, like I said, I just wanted to, I just wanted to see where he adventures, the adventure between him and Medusa go, and it's, it's really interesting. So, yeah, looking yeah. forward to more discussions next week. Okay. So, bye, everybody. Yeah. Talk to you and then again, week six next okay, week. Okay, bye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.